Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Matej Jan, also known as Retro, and you're watching another first person review. Last week we looked at the Kano Computer Kit, a computer that was funded on Kickstarter in 2013. It was the most funded educational product at the time, leading to over 150,000 computers sold to date. Last year Kano returned to Kickstarter to build three new devices, the Pixel Kit, camera and speaker. Pixel Kit came out a month ago and Kano sent me one to try it out. First of all, just like the computer kit, you have to build the pixel kit on your own. It's like a really short Lego project where you follow the instruction booklet to put in the battery, attach all the buttons and close it all together with a translucent case, so it's very clear that it's a device you should be curious about how it works. You can think about a pixel kit in two ways. On one hand, it's a 16x8 LED light board that you can use to blast out saturated colors and all that kind of stuff. And on the other hand, it's a handheld gaming device. Here I'm playing the built-in game of Snake. It also comes with two other games like the breakout here and three demo visualizations like these sound visualizers. So the magic starts when you plug the pixel kit into your computer. And yes, you can use the Kano's computer kit, but this is by no means necessary. Pixel kit is a completely standalone product from Kano, so you can just as easily plug it into your adult size computer. And that's really the big deal because it makes the pixel kit useful for anyone that wants to learn how to code. Computer Kit's keyboard was just too small to use by adults, and that's okay because it really is optimized for kids. Pixel Kit, however, anyone can use it as a very hands on way to learn how to code. And I mean hands on figuratively as well as literally. Now, you don't need any prior knowledge of coding because Kano software comes with all the lessons pre built so that you can start from zero. You can even try it online before you buy the Pixel Kit if you want to get a taste of how Kano's drag and drop programming interface works. You now have superpowers. The course you will want to take is called Power to Control Light, and in there you will learn about the blocks that control the device, such as turning lights on and off. The second group of blocks corresponds to usual programming operations, such as loops and math functions. When you upgrade from the web to the real Kano Code app, you get a whole new set of exercises. You will learn everything from how to use the microphone, all the way to making your own simple treasure hunting game. They even surprise with a basic animation tip to make an object long when it flies fast and then squished when it hits the ground. There's a lot of potential there, and I wish Kano would do more than just one example of this. After you get a hang of it, it's really up to you and your creativity where you'll go from here. First of all, it's just really amazing how tangible making programs and games for the Pixel Kit is. When you code, your app is always running in the preview window, and if you have your Pixel Kit plugged in, also on the actual device. So as soon as you add a block, or change a number in a block, the app will update. There's no compiling, no waiting, the feedback is completely immediate. So this ability to quickly try things out and see the results really is rewarding and encourages you to be curious and just learn by doing it. And this doesn't only hold for coding. When you're drawing, you will also get to see exactly how your image looks like on the real device. Same goes for animation. Now you might think that a 16 by 8 display is a really small resolution, but that's actually a good thing. It will limit the scope of your project so that you can actually finish something, a skill that a lot of people don't have. You'll be able to get your characters drawn in minutes and it will also force you to learn how to simplify things. This is a core skill of pixel art and it transfers widely to normal illustrations and paintings. Alright, so what did I build? Here's a tracker for the International Space Station. And you can see the blinking dot here, it's going in Southeast Asia. You can see that the code for it is surprisingly simple. These are all the blocks that you need that you see on the screen. So when I wanted to complicate things a little bit, I made a breakout game. I started small and then just expanded it, and in the end it includes four levels, which I did so that I could sneak in my spectrum stripes in there. I also built a Mandelbrot Fractal Explorer, which in hindsight is really a horrible idea because unless you already know how a Mandelbrot fractal looks like, you sure won't have any idea what you're looking at at this small resolution. Next I made a bouncing ball, which if you think about it, it's really a very tiny basic game physics engine. Of course after that I went a little bit crazy, so here's a time lapse of me building in support for multiple balls and even collision detection, which is something that most coders haven't really done in their life. But it can be done, as you can see here, if you put enough patience into these dragging and dropping blocks around. I really wanted to just see how far I can push the device, and I also wanted to build some educational stuff. So here's another crazy complicated program. It simulates light particles flying through a prism so that they get refracted when they come out on the other side at different angles based on the frequency of the particle. And that's how we get a spectrum again. 
Of course, this is just me being silly again. I was actually quite amazed at how many cool things you can do with code fitting on just one screen. Like here you have a working weather station and you can change the location and then it'll show you the temperature and it even draws a little image of the weather conditions. In conclusion, the power of the Pixel Kit comes from two places. First, the limits really are its strength. And I mean limits in multiple ways, like the tutorials will only give you the blocks that you need for the exercise, which does help you so that you don't get overwhelmed right out of the gate when you're starting to learn. As you've seen, you can code a whole physics engine if you really wanted to, but you really won't be trying to do anything like that. When you start out, this immediate feedback really does promote that you just try and build something small, and then when you have that working, you add on more things to get it more complicated. Eventually the size becomes too unmanageable, and so you are forced to go try and do something new. It's not like kids will run out of ideas too. Sometimes they will go a little crazy, thinking that they'll be able to make Super Mario in it, but that never stopped me and my brother when we were young to at least try and get started. And this is where the second power of the Pixel Kit comes in. It gives you a reason to learn. Because I wanted to know how to make characters move around the screen, that's why I paid attention when I was in physics class learning Newton's laws. Even in the space station example here, if I wanted to calculate where to show the ISS, I needed to do some math to convert from degrees to pixels. In the same way, I've been doing this all my life because as I was growing up, I was making games, so I had no problem having motivation to learn it in school. Unfortunately, not all the teachers will point out these parallels, so it is a bit on you, the parent, to build a bridge over this gap. Now you might say you don't know enough about coding to show your kids how they could use things they learn in school to make games. Well, isn't that a great opportunity so you learn together with them? Like I said, Pixel Kit is just as reasonable to use for adults if you're starting from zero and wanted to learn how to make your own things on a computer. In the end, it does all come down to motivation and creativity. Do you want to make games? Do you want to create music visualizers or little animations or useful gadgets? And if yes, Pixel Kit is a very nice gateway into the world of coding and pixel art for you and your kids. Hey, what's up guys? I hope some of you will pick up coding or pixel art or start making games because of this video. Let me know in the comments and the likes and the subscribe thing because uh, we're gonna do some more pixel art and art videos and news and... Anyway, I'll see you there.